RoadFly.com, the Internet's best resource for buyers, sellers, and owners like you. Welcome to RoadFly TV. I'm Jesse Lang, and this week I have the 2011 Toyota Sienna. They've upped the sportiness quotient in terms of overall look and driving dynamics, and if you're looking for all-wheel drive, the Sienna is the only way to go. Built on the same platform as its predecessor and riding on the same wheelbase, the new Sienna is marginally wider but nearly an inch shorter overall. The exterior styling, however, is all new and has a lot more personality than before. Now the new styling continues inside. It's got a lot of sweeping lines that give it a more modern feel than the previous Sienna. The interior plastics look nice. They look a little nicer than they feel, but everything is well placed, very intuitive. And as you would expect in a minivan, you have an incredible amount of storage space. There's two glove boxes, massive door pockets, there's more cup holders than there are seats. You've got a sliding storage console between the front seats and even a place to store your purse or your European shoulder bag on the floor. Because minivans are all about family, I thought it was important to find out what kids think. So I stole a couple. Alexandra, what's your favorite thing about the Sienna? I like the foot stand because it can go all the way up and you can push this down and it's really relaxing when you go on its neck. Ava, what do you like? I like this convenient storage spot where you can store some snacks. Now the back seats have a really clever collapse design and the first part is easy enough for a child to do. So first we put down the headrest. Ava, you want to show us the second part? Now the last part requires a lot more muscle. And I have to physically get into the back in order to move it. So what you really might want to get is the electric seats for the back. It's probably your most worthwhile option. One of the coolest options you can get is the rear seat entertainment system, which gives you an enormous 16.4 inch screen that can display two separate images from two separate sources. So you could play a movie on the right side of the screen and then a video game on the left hand side. Now if only one input is utilized, then the image can be stretched across the entire screen or displayed on only the left or the right. The Sienna engineers really improved the handling. They gave it a much sportier feel while maintaining the refinement and the quietness in the cabin. And it has a whole lot of steering wheel feedback, which you wouldn't really expect in a minivan. Now although the front struts and the torsion beam rear axle carry over from the previous model, they completely retune the suspension to give it a tighter and more controlled feel. The damping is firmer, the body roll is less pronounced, and that floating feeling of the previous Sienna is gone. It's also worth mentioning that since it was introduced in 1998, the Sienna has posted some of the best crash test scores of any minivan on the market. That fact alone makes it a really good choice, new or used, for buyers who value safety over all other attributes when purchasing a family vehicle. One of the things that really makes the Sienna stand apart is that you can have this minivan in any climate because it is the only minivan to offer all-wheel drive. That's a big plus, especially for people concerned about safety. Now the base XLE costs $34.5 and our test car, which has the navigation package, costs $38.6. As for fuel economy, you're going to get 16 miles per gallon in the city and 22 on the highway. Sienna has a fantastic reputation for quality and long-term dependability. And now with a refined and fuel-efficient V6, the 2011 Toyota Sienna is certain to be a strong seller. That's all today for Roadfly TV. I'm Jesse Lang and I want to hear from you. Send us your comments, rate our videos, and join our community by subscribing to our channel. Roadfly.com, the internet's best resource for buyers, sellers, and owners like you.